Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss the multiple pulse width modulation technique. Right? So, as the name suggests, multiple pulse width modulation. So here corresponding to one half cycle, corresponding to one half cycle in the output, we will be having multiple number of pulses. Okay. So the difference between the single pulse width modulation and the multiple pulse width modulation is in the single pulse width modulation corresponding to each half cycle, right? We, we were having only single pulse. Okay. But here we are having the multiple pulses. Okay. But each pulse is having the same width. That is a delta. Okay. Next. So therefore, how to get this pulse? Yes, corresponding to this, here we will be having the output voltage is EDC. So this magnitude is equal to EDC, right? And this magnitude, it will be minus EDC. Here it is a minus EDC and here it is a plus EDC, right? This is a plus EDC, this is a minus EDC, okay? So in the single pulse width modulation corresponding to each half cycle, yes, the SCRs were turned on and turned off only single time okay but whereas in order to get this output voltage yes at this instant we need to turn on the s1 s2 here we need to turn off the s1 s2 also again at this point s1 is to turned on s1 is to turned off right again s1 is to turned on s1 is to turned off okay so we need to turn on and turn off switches multiple times right multiple times okay so how the signals have been generated that we are going to discuss okay so in the multiple pulse width modulation technique, we are having the carrier wave is a triangular wave. Okay, carrier wave is a triangular wave, but the frequency of the carrier wave is greater than that of the frequency of the reference wave. Okay, reference wave is a square wave, right? Reference wave is completing one cycle from zero till this instant. Okay, so this is a two pi, and here it is a pi, right? So carrier wave frequency is greater than that of the reference wave frequency. Okay, so here we can put five cycles of the carrier wave, 10 cycles of the carrier wave, etc. Okay. And here, if VC becomes greater than VR, right? If VC becomes greater than VR means only during this interval, right? That is during this interval. Okay. So when VC becomes greater than VR, yes, the comparator gives the output as logic high. And due to that, the trigger pulse generator circuit, right? Recall the block diagram, right? Trigger pulse generator circuit provides the triggering pulses to the respective SCRs. Okay. So here we are turning on S1, S2, here it is turned off. Here S1, S2 turned on, here it is turned off. S1, S2 turned on, S1, S2 turned off, right? Similarly, again after this, for the negative half cycle, right? For getting the negative half cycle, we need to turn on S3, S4. And here S3, S4 turns off. S3, S4 on, S3, S4 off, S3, S4 on, and S3, S4 off, okay? So accordingly, we can get the output voltage, okay? So as we know, in the single phase, full bridge inverter okay when s1 s2 are in the on state when s1 and s2 are in the on state at that time what is the v0 v0 is equal to edc right v0 is equal to edc similarly when s3 s4 are in the on state at that time the v0 is equal to minus edc v0 is equal to minus edc so in this way yes we can get the required output required output are you getting the point okay so corresponding to each half cycle the switches are turned on and turned off multiple times right multiple times turned on and turned off okay so this is about the operation of multiple pulse width modulation technique in the next video we are going to derive the expression of this v0 we are going to derive the expression of v0 okay and we are going to prove how the pulse width and the number of pulses per half cycle right very uh, can vary the output voltage okay because this technique is for output voltage control of the inverter okay so thank you